Hey everybody, this is Perch, and what are we talking about? This is actually the most comic store in comic shop type of debate slash question that I think I've ever gotten as a question to this channel. So I'm, I'm very excited to, are you ready? It's going to be great. This is a kind of in-depth, um, excellent kind of uh, comic book conversation you can have in a shop. You know, these warm and cozy locations where a number of people, particularly like right before the holiday, you know, maybe it, or, or it, when it's snowing outside, maybe people are running around trying to get their shopping uh, done. And uh, there's just a couple people in the comic shop, sit back, having a good time. Maybe somebody has broken out a bottle of whiskey. I have on many occasions, put some glasses around some regulars. And we're having a nice like uh, pre-Christmas drink, right? And we're talking about the kinds of topics that are perfect for the comic shop. And uh, this, this, this question fits right in there. Are you ready for it? All right, here it is. Hey, Perch, love the show. I'm curious. Which superhero, if they caught COVID, would be the biggest super spreader of them all? Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Great mail. Great question. Great question. This is a comic book shop question for sure. All right, so uh, let's break this thing down. If we were in a comic shop together, I guarantee you everybody who's listening to this has an opinion already. And uh, now comes the debate of, of how it goes. I think there's one obvious question, but here's where maybe we'll, we'll figure out some science uh, behind it. So for me, first off, I'm excluding the characters who can't get COVID, right? So I think Superman, uh, unless he was affected by magic in some way, he can't get COVID. Uh, obviously, the Vision, Red Tornado, they're not getting COVID. Um, so I think we're, we're down to, you know, this is this has eliminated some characters. And now we're talking about characters that are super spreaders. So this would be characters that have a lot of interaction with people. So I think, are there any superheroes that do a lot of hugging? Okay, maybe Plastic Man. Think about it. Plastic Man could stretch himself, you know, basically disperse more of his body. Now, granted, sweat and just skin contact probably isn't doing it unless Plastic Man is like coughing or sneezing into himself, like on a constant basis. Like he's going to give a big sneeze and he rolls up into a giant ball and just sprays his crap everywhere. And then he runs around and just touches people. Okay. Also, by the way, from your question, I can't tell. Are you talking about a character who's intentional? trying to spread the virus or not. You say super spreader, but is this hero caught COVID and it's like, everybody's getting it. We're going for herd immunity over the next week. Is that, or is it just a character who's bumbling around, doesn't really know what they're doing and are accidentally spreading the virus? Um, I think, so, so, you know, you can get into your Reed Richards, you can get into your Plastic Man, lots of masks, but I don't think that really works, again, unless they're, they're super droplets everywhere, all right? So, um, knocking those guys off. Now, then we're going to take a look. What about some, you know, street level heroes? Because you have to exclude the heroes who are wearing a mask. Like, like Spider-Man is wearing a mask and he's flipping around up in the sky. So he's not, I mean, granted, as, as Peter Parker, he'd go into the Daily Bugle and wipe that office out. But, you know, he, chances are he's in his mask, he's flipping around and, and he's away from people. Lots of characters with masks, you know, they're, they're not going to spread the virus as easy, and they tend to be flying around doing other things. Okay, so now let's look at, you know, th this also I think would exclude characters like Captain Marvel or uh, Green Lantern, characters that when they fly around, they got kind of an energy field around them. Um, you know, Cannonball, example, he would move very fast, so he'd cover a lot of distance, but he's got that kind of Cannonball energy field around his body, Meaning, I don't think he's, uh, you know, that virus is getting through and, and doing much. So now I'm looking at character. So, so then I land on Black Canary. Now, Black Canary, I think, is a really interesting um, potential option there, as is like Songbird. Why? Because they're, they're yelling, they're screaming out, and so they're, they're breathing their crap all over everything. They're, they're spraying these COVID droplets by nature of their power. So that's, that I think is a pretty good one. I think, um, conversely, you know, Johnny Storm flying around on fire. I think that that virus is going to have a hard time penetrating the heat, you know, field that's, that's there. I think that's, that's going to be a problem. We could go with like Luke Cage, but Luke Cage has un unbreakable skin. So is, is COVID, I mean, granted COVID's happening from within, but what does that do? What does that, that kind of body physiology do in order to, to spread things? I, I don't know. I, I don't think that that's going to do much. I think that uh, we're more likely 
I, again, I think Black Canary is a really solid example because she's just running in and screeching and just spraying COVID everywhere. She's She is really high on the list. But another option here, and I think a lot of you probably went here from the very beginning, um, Quicksilver and The Flash. Those are those are reasonable options. Now, why? Because they're they are covering a lot of territory. And we've seen in the past comics that suggest that Wally West, at least, was a hugger. And so if he's got, you know, again, if he's, you know, coughing into his hands and sneezing into his mouth, you know, into his mouth, into his hand, if, he, if he's, there's a potential that uh, he's got, uh, he can, he can do some damage, I think. Um, that one, that one feels like a possibility here is, um, is the, the flash, you know, I get, if he's running around we, we've seen actually a lot of pictures of flash, like wiping sweat off his brow. He's having to eat a lot. So he's putting his hands toward his face. You know, he's like quickly chowing down on a bunch of burgers. You got to think that maybe he's getting some of that COVID all over himself. And then he's running around uh, coast city or uh, he's, he's he basically in metropolis. And I mean, hell, here's a guy who can take COVID into other dimensions. Like he could go to earth three and spread COVID over there. Earth three would be like, what the hell, man? We, 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 we were careful. We didn't have the, you know, we didn't have the bats and the pangolins uh, having sex in our dimension. You know, we, we, we keep trying to lock down with that, where that stuff's concerned, but you know, flash kind of stumbles in here because he wants, you know, a particular flavor of Ben and Jerry's that only earth three has. And he's spreading COVID everywhere. So I, I think I think the Flash, I think the Flash and Quicksilver are pretty pretty damn good options. Um, again, characters that are going to roar. You know, you could argue the Hulk. You know, the Hulk gets a good case of COVID and he goes leaping around, uh, shouting Hulk smash, and just again spits and sprays COVID over everything. We've seen Wolverine spit and spray stuff, but again, but would Wolverine catch it? He's got the healing factor. If COVID got in there, you know, would would Wolverine? Uh, quickly process the COVID through his body, be okay, and then just spray antibodies. Every maybe 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 Wolverine is uh, is the is the cure to everything. But um, I'm I think it's a toss up personally between the Flash racing around spreading COVID or Black Canary uh, shouting the COVID over everything. Which which just again goes to prove DC Comics and their characters are the ones that make you sick. They're the ones who do not have a good regard. I mean, look, they're not even, they, they fictionalize all their town names in order to disguise the fact that they are spreading their disease everywhere. That's, uh, you know, that, that's what that's what I think. Um, but th- th- I'm landing on that. I'm going to go uh, toss up a Flash or Black Canary. Man, you know, if they, if they ever teamed up where Flash had to race Black Canary around the town uh, screaming at everything, they could infect billions just in a day. They could just just go from continent to continent, dimension to dimension, just spreading COVID like crazy. I think that's your biggest super spreader event. Uh, second place going to Quicksilver in some kind of team up with Songbird uh, or, or the Hulk. But the Quick, Quicksilver couldn't carry around the Hulk. That's a problem. Too heavy. It wouldn't really work. I feel, I, I'm trying to think if I, if I can remember anything else. I mean, I know there's some more obscure characters that barf on things. Or is that Inhuman in uh, Secret Empire? that uh, would barf up toys for his kid. Remember that? He barfed up a cosmic cube as well. Um, now, granted, if that guy got a job at Amazon uh, and he was in, he was like responsible for their products, so he was just sitting there vomiting up products all day long that Amazon was in shipping around, that could cause a lot of damage too. And that, that everyone, is why capitalism is dangerous because you could have an inhuman manufacturing these toys and, uh, and devices through their own regurgitated vomit and spreading COVID. And that's why capitalism must be defeated right there. That, that, that exact reason. So that's my take on it. Now, what's yours? What's your, who is the biggest super spreader of COVID in all of the DC universe? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, certainly like, and subscribe and, uh, and, and come on now, this is, absolutely the most comic shop type video we've had, right? I mean, I, I'm so thankful for this viewer question because this this is the kind of stuff that we would argue about in the store. I remember that there was an argument that went on for an hour over, uh, you know, which superhero was most likely to have their clothes ripped off by flying too fast. And then, the, you know, we get into unstable molecules and all that other kind of stuff. But that, that was, uh, 
that was that was one hell of an afternoon right there. It was interesting because everybody was really hoping it would be the female characters. I mean, you know, go figure. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Who's the biggest super spreader in the comments below? Is this a stupid topic? Yes, it is. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks for listening.